Hello everybody, Red X Rain here, back with uh, another episode of Let's Play Parasite Eve. Last time we uh, were introduced to, well, sort of introduced to our antagonist Eve. Here we're going to face our first regular uh, enemy encounter and get a cool video. Okay, so uh, these are pretty simple enemies, rats. Basically, I don't even think we're gonna have time for him to attack. Nope. Pick up some ammo. So now we can see the effects that Eve has on um, living animals. We'll see much more of that soon, too. More charred bodies. Only thing in here is we've got some medicine, I think. Yep. And if you come over here and open this locker, that guy moves. Doesn't actually do anything, but it's it happens, so I wanted to show it off. We'll go across the hall here. All the other doors that we passed by earlier were locked, so I just ran right past them. We'll be coming back to him. He's the scariest thing in the game so far. Creepy ass French clown. <laughs> what makes you think that he's French? I just... Oh. Sounds like a rat got him. Or something got him. And likewise, we have a little uh, item to pick up here. Just some extra ammo. Everything else is empty. Let's go back in the hallway. See if our friend's out here. Well, I guess we'll just push on. So these two doors are locked, but these double doors are open, so we'll go in. What do we have? Another charred body. There's a little chest hidden back here. We'll pick that up. Some medicine. Anything good in here in the rack of clothes? Oh, little parrot. Those are the words "hot" and "help," which are odd words to teach a bird. But ah, right back out. So here we have a phone, which is how you save your progress in the game. But we'll save that for later. For now, we're gonna check this body. Find a key. Theater K to be specific. And of course now we can go back and open all the unlocked or all the we can go back and unlock all of the locked doors. So we'll start here at the top. Let's work our way back to where we were. Now this room. Um, let's check the closet here, get a little ammo, I think, right? Yep. And here we'll have a diary. A uh, staple of any action horror type of game. Yeah, a diary, that's what I said. Sell her soul to the devil, she says. Well, not too far away, Melissa. Music change. More and more medicine. Oh yes, more of that beautiful voice. So if you're expecting me to read this, I'm not going to read that long, but basically it's just a diary full of um, entries saying how hot she gets and all the medications she has to take. 
December 17th. That's today. Ooh. So I think she just has a drug problem. Oh, but we found a key. Another key. Which we could use to unlock the doors at the end of the hall, but we have lots more to check out. So let's keep going. Another parrot here. Which I thought... Maybe I have to open this here. I thought he was supposed to attack. I thought he turned into a. Um, no? Okay. Maybe it has something to do with the way that you enter the uh, doors, the order or something. Because usually he turns into a. Oh! Do we get to fight a rat? Oh, two rats actually. Sorry. Let's hold on. There we go. That's the attacks that these guys have. Me. Shoot the fire from there. Oh, and of course, if you get too close, they can bite you like that. So, really, you just want to keep your distance. And if you just get behind them, the fire is no problem. Because once they decide what way they're going to face, they don't move again. So. Alright. So, we already did these two doors. Hello? Actually, I don't think I want to go in here. No, I'm going to actually head back out. We'll do the room across the hall, and I will sh show you why in just a minute. First, we'll get in here. And you know what to do by now. Open the crate. Ah, so we get our first weapon upgrade, which we're going to save for later. But here it is. Also a chance to show off the inventory screen. Pretty basic. So we want to open this. We want to open this. So we want to open this. So we want to open... This. Come on! You can't, uh, can't seem to get it to work. There we go. No item, just another rat. This fight kind of sucks because you get pinned right in there. Let's see if I can move. Nah, got me. Sorry. Not too tough. Maybe we gained a level. Gained some ammo. And it looks like that's all that's here, but there is actually one very important item hidden right here. You just press X while you're in the spot. Aha! Look how that was easier to do than opening the uh, cabinet there. Anyway, so we've got some armor. Armor upgrade. Which is always nice to have. Like any RPG, you know, you're going to pick up different weapons, different armors, different uh, upgrades to your weapons. And of course, we're going to be getting lots of, uh, you know, this is only the start of the game. So, we're going to be getting lots of uh, hiccups along the way, so we're not going to waste like that offense plus one on our gun just yet. And here we have a nice group fight. There's one of those parrots that um, I was talking about. We'll take him down first because they're really annoying. And just sneak up behind him. One shot. I actually should have split up the shots for that because I could take these both out with just one bullet. But... Oh. And we'll take all. Oh! Yeah, uh, okay. Well, our inventory must be full because I can't get that other medicine. Which kind of sucks. That's okay, we're pretty stocked on medicine. And in fact, there's another one here, so I'm going to go into my inventory screen and use. Use one of them. So we've taken a few hits. That's why I always like to come to this room last, because, you know, you might take a few hits from rats and stuff. So, just like that, and we're back to a full inventory, full health. And we're going to go 
see what's at the end of the hall. But first, let's check out the... There we go. First, check out this body. It's that clown. Nothing interesting about him. Alright, he's gonna take our long run down the... Oh, come on! More rats? Usually don't, they don't, um, the random encounters tend to not be that bad here, but, oh, I ran right into it. That's okay, now I can show off how you can actively select different targets. I was hoping to kill them both with that. As long as they're within range, you can actively select more than one target, um, which is going to come in uh, handy for the final boss fight. Let's see if this parrot is ready to fight us yet, too. We can, might be able to level up one more time. No? Fine. Screw you. Let's hope I'm level up one more time. Because we're going to face a familiar face here. Face a familiar face. in another video. And here we'll meet the clay domination. Her name's changed to Eve, and now all that's left is the body. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but that sounds like the laugh that, uh, oh, Dixie from, uh, Donkey Kong Country does, or Donkey Kong 64. What's her name? Uh, I can't think of it, but it's always been unsettling that they use the same trilling laughter. So this isn't much of a different, this fight isn't much different from the one on stage, except this time, uh, she has two beams she shoots out, so you just maintain your distance. Oh, I was doing fine where I was standing, and then I walked right into it. And of course, if you touch her, you also get the damage, but... Oh my gosh. Come on. So I'm just trying to get as far away as I can when she's about to attack, so that I can move, like I didn't there, and get as close as I can to attack, to get those critical. Yeah, not too hard to fight. Look at those claws. I understand what you're saying! I understand you! I need to learn how to use our capital letters. She's as bad as the internet. Back to this flashback here, we'll get a little extra. Some doctor, I'm going to assume. A doctor that Aya seems to recognize. Just like that, Eve is gone. So we're going to go back here and check out the piano, and we'll see another hole, which leads to the third part this level, but we're gonna forget it as well, if only because I never saved the game. But at almost 15 minutes, this seems like a good place to end the video. So, we're gonna go back to the room with the phone. I'm gonna save my progress, and we will check out uh, what's behind the piano next time. Oh yes, P.E. Uh, yeah, we'll use it. I was hoping to reveal this a little more uh, tactfully in battle, but that's going to help us recover some HP. But we'll talk about the specifics of that next time. But for now, I have a call to make. I'm pretty sure they know I have. Alright. Well, 
As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.